Hello everybody, I am back with the part 2 of my previous video. I wanted to talk to you today about a custom screener. Pretty much what a custom screener is, it's a, a script that you make on, let's say, a certain program. In this case, it's going to be Think or Swim. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a script. Um, and as well, if you don't have a script, I'll just go ahead and provide you uh, the script that I have here so we could go ahead and follow uh, along with this tutorial um, so when you go ahead and run the script it's gonna search through a thousand stocks within let's say one minute and uh, on the last video I'm not re I'm not sure if you remember the buy signal well the script will look for a buy signal for you so every day that you get on your computer let's say you wake up at 9 or 10 in the morning and you're ready to trade some stocks you're just l looking for a buy indicator for that day well just go ahead and run the custom screener and it'll pull up several different types of stocks that you could just view them see if they meet your your standards and go ahead and enter a trade so let's get started the first thing that I want you guys to do is uh, just go to Google Chrome I have a Brave browser, uh, same thing, but just get on the web and uh, you want to type in Thinkorswim download on the Google search bar. Once you go ahead and, and search for the Thinkorswim download, uh, just ignore the ad on the top, but it's going to be the second link right here. It says download Thinkorswim desktop. Go ahead and click that. So now, once you're on the website and everything loads, you'll see download Thinkorswim Desktop. Depending if you're a Windows user or a Mac user, uh, they got a download for each of them. I have Windows, so I'm just going to go ahead and click the installation for Windows 64-bit. Here's the installer. Click Save. It's going to go ahead and download, but um, since I already have the platform, I'm, I'm not going to go through the whole installation process. It's uh, very straightforward, and I'm sure you guys will download it and install it very quick. So let's just go ahead and, and say that we did the installation. Once you have installed Thinkorswim, the first thing you're going to see is uh, just this main page right here. It's just going to be a blank screen. It's going to tell you that you're connected, your account info, and everything about it. Um, this is not where I trade, so it's going to show an account info of zero dollars. I just use this software for the screener. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, go to this tab here where it says scan. You click stock hacker alright now we're on the screener there's a add filters button here for all of the following that's the one that you want to click we're gonna go ahead and uh, click not stock but we're gonna click study because we want to add a new study onto our screener there's plenty that you could choose from already they got the uh, candle candlestick patterns, they got crossovers like the ADX crossover, Bollinger Bands, MACD, um, some popular studies like the RSI scans, the Parabolic SAR, and the VWAP. But uh, we're just going to ignore the, the built-in features there and we're going to go down to custom. This is where we're going to go ahead and add that script. So there's a tab here that says Thinker script. Thinker script editor this is the tab where you want to input that code and um, let me go ahead and get that code and then I'm gonna copy it and paste it in this area think script e editor paste everything in there delete this bottom part here we're not gonna need that Alright, 
once we got the script inside we'll go ahead and click OK it accepts the script now we add the time frame that we want to trade on I'm gonna go ahead and click 15 minutes because I usually trade on that platform on that time frame uh, this is you could leave that checked or unchecked you don't really have to have that but that's this extension of ours uh, so next we're gonna go ahead and click scan with my custom scanner it's gonna go ahead the program's gonna go ahead and scan everything and see if I could find any stocks that meet my criteria we'll give it a second here here we go so we got about 10 different types of results here I usually go with the ones with the most volume so anything over 50,000 pretty much meets my criteria but you could choose from any of these even if you want to go lower than that But so let's go ahead and click the first one here we right click it we go to more info and then we'll see charts this is how we're going to view the chart to see that if there is a buy signal or not you see right here it says buy MACD and as well on my scanner it picked up a little little number one there so we know that it is my strategy because like I mentioned in the last video the blue line has to cross over the yellow line and five candles ago the RSI had to be oversold so this is the exact strategy that I use and you can see another one over there another one over there so uh, in my opinion I would say hey this looks like a good buy it dropped very fast so if I were to buy here it might just go ahead and hit this resistance area of eighteen dollars and fifty seven cents but if I want to look a little bit more into this strategy, uh, you see the name here, it says BMA. I'm going back to Trading View. I'm going to type BMA there. Oh, I'm sorry, clicked the wrong one. It's going to be this one. Alright. So let's see if this is the correct one. It's going to be on the 10 minute time frame. Yeah, so it looks like it just pulled up on the 15 minute. This one has more data than trading view. But in this case, since there's already one on the 10 minute there, a buy signal, we'll go here. We'll go to the 10 minute on trading view. We'll go, we'll go ahead and see if my strategy is good. Right here it says it's 64% profitable and it has 10% net profit. How that is projected, we'll see a list of trades over here. And it shows all the, the winning trades. This one right here in red is a losing trade. It'll show this one has been a winning trade for that date. Um, so this goes back to October 2019 list of trades all of them that win and some of them that lose in my opinion 10% profit it is a profitable strategy but there is others that might have a higher net profit margin you can go ahead and take the risk more than likely a 10 minute strategy you'll you'll be let's say in at 10 a.m. and you'll be out by 4 p.m. of that trade that same day 
So you have a 64% win rate. I'd go ahead and try it. You know, as long as this is not in the negatives, why not? But if you don't like the strategy, let's go back to Thinkorswim. We're going to go back to the scan tab. We'll move on to the next one. Open up the chart. Go to the 15 minute time frame. We see here that we got a signal. So it's going to tell us to buy in here. The name is NXTC. We're going back to trading view one more time. Click the name. Click the time frame. You see this one has a higher net profit of 59%. The percent profitability is 67%, which is a lot better than the last trade. So you might want to consider jumping in on this one. It's up to you though. I would recommend going through the list of all the profit of, of all the things that came out in your screener here. Just go through the list, see which one has the highest percent of profit and as well the highest win rate. Once you find the one that has the highest win rate and the, the profit that you're looking for, just go ahead, use my strategy. You're going to see the the buy signal on trading view or you could just open up your app and buy in right at that time the strategy is very useful and it's very accurate and this is what I do day to day so I'm sure you guys won't have any problem using the screener or finding anything uh, for that day like um, let's say if somehow you didn't get a list here of results just change the time frame you know you could go 10 minutes you could go to one hour it depends on what type of trader you are. I usually trade on the 15 because I, I like to trade that same day. But this is going to be very, very beneficial for you to use because, like I mentioned in the last video, let's go back to Trading View. A lot of our times, we don't want to be going to the market like, let's say we go to Tesla and see if my strategy is working manually and be like oh there's no strategy there's no buy signal here we go to Apple and see if there's a buy signal there's none here it's a waste of time trying to look for a buy signal when you could just get your computer to scan the thousand of stocks for that time frame and the computer will give you that buy signal so I would highly recommend using this Swim platform I'm going to go ahead and give you the script that I made. So you guys could go ahead and use this one or you could use any of the built-in features on Thinkorswim. But uh, once again, thank you guys for watching this video.